art of combat must be practiced to truly master the canvas of war. The Alright guys, so I was asked about my Zal build. So this is my golf club right here. So the first thing we'll go over is where you can find the Zal parts and what you need to do to unlock it. We're here on Cetus and this is Hawk and this is where you get your Zal parts from and this is where he puts them together for you. So if you go to Browse Wares, you can scroll down through here. You can see there's a bunch of different parts that you have available to build a Zal. So right now, the parts that I am currently using is the Crunch, the Vargi or Vargi, however you want to say that, too and the stung now to be able to access blueprints down here you're gonna have to level up your austrian standing here on cetus so you want to make sure you're running bounties with kanzu getting that standing getting the parts that you need to actually upgrade to the next level to be able to access more and more parts from hawk now once you have your zal built you want to level it up to level 30 then you want to take it back to hawk let him guild it and he'll put your first polarity slot on it and then you can level it back up to level 30 again now the other important piece to this build is the exodia contagion arcane now you can get this arcane from special events like i got mine from the halloween event last year but you can pick it up from the marketplace from somebody who has already gotten it for actual plat right now so to activate this arcane if you jump up in the air and aim glide you can actually throw a projectile from your zaw Now that is all you're going to be using to do the major damage that you get from these alls. All right, so let's go over the quick build real quick for it. So this is with a ribbon. So I've got the ribbon right here for extra melee damage, crit chance, and damage to corpus, I guess. I've got crit damage. I've got crit chance with sacrificial steel. I've got more crit damage. I've got prime pressure point to upgrade that base damage a little bit more. I've also got spoiled strike to upgrade that base damage some more. And I've got shocking touch and fever strike to create that corrosive stat on there so you can see here this is just a regular build that i'm using right now this is the one i would probably use without the ribbon so let's go over that everything is the same except for without the ribbon i'm using boreal's contempt which you can get that from running the armor bounties so you get plus 90 percent melee damage and 60 percent damage from status effects so it's just some extra damage from that mod right there as well all right so this is the build i'll be using right here and i'll show you the damage it can do here in just a second because there's a couple other things that i use that really increase the damage of this all big time so i'm gonna go up here and on my warframe wukong i've got this mod right here vigorous swap so whenever you swap your weapon you get three seconds of 135 percent extra damage so whenever you're aim gliding you're pulling out your secondary and then you're going to swing your zaw which will be your swap for three seconds and give you that extra damage boost. I've also got Arcane Fury on here, which is on critical hit, 60% chance for a plus 30% melee damage. So that is pretty nice to have as well. So that's a little bit of extra damage right there. Now, if we go over here to my primary, I'm using primary dexterity on this. If I'm focusing on my Zal and I want to use my Zal for a run, these are the Arcanes that I'm going to be using. So when I'm running my Zal, I primarily focus on the damage from my Zal. So I swap my Arcanes here on my primary and my secondary to primary and secondary dexterity so you can see here on melee kill plus 60 percent damage for 20 seconds and that stacks up to six times and you get extra combo duration which doesn't really matter because you're just going to be throwing out that projectile every single time and just to go over real quick here on my secondary i've got the secondary dexterity as well which does the same thing so even extra even more extra damage now that vigorous swap mod i'm going to go over that real quick so whenever you swap weapons like I said, you get a three second damage boost for 135%. I don't have it all the way maxed out. I think it goes to 150% if you max it out all the way. But it's something I was playing with that actually gives you a nice little increase. But if you swap weapons, you can see up there in the top right hand corner, it starts counting down from three seconds, 135%. Now to activate Exodia Contagion, to throw that actual projectile, you're gonna be aim gliding. You're either gonna have your primary or your secondary equipped. And when you aim glide, it's gonna pull out one of those weapons. And then you're gonna swipe and throw your projectile from your Zal. All right, let's show you guys the damage that this thing can do. You can see that we got level 130 corrupted heavy gunners and my pet is doing its thing right there, activating the viral quills, I guess. I'm gonna step back a little bit and I'm gonna launch this projectile.
it does do some pretty decent damage. And like I said, as you're aim gliding to launch that projectile, top right, my vigorous swap is activating. 135% extra damage. And then, as you're killing your enemies, you're going to get extra damage from your primary and secondary dexterity arcanes. And also for fun, to get even more damage out of it, I've got Eclipse here on Wukong just to get that extra 225% weapon damage when I'm in the light. Alright guys, you get the point. Pretty overpowered, especially working in synergy with the, say, Eclipse ability or Roar, or you can use the Arcanes. But you're going to want to make sure the one thing that you're going to have a problem picking up right now is the Exodia Contagion. But you've got some Platinum, and you want to go pick some up from the Marketplace, that's your best bet right now until an event decides to pop up. Other than that... I will see you guys next time.